Hey, this is Jeremy Curran with Easy Logistics Management and Global Trans. Um, we've been getting a lot of inquiries and questions about our different e-commerce freight shipping API automation suites, and uh, I wanted to drill into the exact configuration and how configurable some of these products are, um, in this case for Shopify. Um, Shopify is one of the, as you probably know, one of the bigger e-commerce platforms out there. We support most of the big names in e-commerce and ERP systems with these free API automation apps, but I wanted to drill in today to the Shopify e-commerce app. Um, first of all, you have to have a Shopify e-commerce website, obviously. Um, you would go to the App Store, enable the Global Trans uh, freight shipping LTL app, then you would connect with me and my team open a Global Trans freight shipping LTL account, enable it with payment so that it's ready to move loads. Then we can request your API key code. You then import that into the Global Trans uh, freight shipping app on Shopify and it imports or makes ready all the carriers and rates that we have access to for you. Um, from there, you select the carriers that you would like to see quoted in your e-commerce store, whether that's all carriers, which is probably advised just so you get more of a selection of carriers and quotes, or you can select specific carriers that you're most comfortable with and have already used before, um, bigger name carriers or regional carriers, whatever your preference is in your local market. Number four, uh, drill into the quote settings. Do you want your customers to be able to see the lowest cost carrier? the fastest transit time, do you want to add markup to some of these rates? You can do that as a flat percentage or a flat dollar amount. Um, number five, uh, are you going to use our final mile, our standard LTL services? We do have a final mile or white glove API suite via Cirrus, which was an acquisition a couple of years ago, but we're more talking about standard LTL in this example. Um, if you were to use the final mile, it does have the option for threshold, room of choice deliveries, or a premium service that can pretty much incorporate anything. It just depends on price and your uh, what you need done. Number six, um, you want to input the order cutoff time. Uh, generally, before or at 12 p.m. local warehouse time, the orders will ship same day, but you can configure it to ship next day or within a week. We even had customers approach us that are custom building the product so they need a, a lead time to prep and create everything so you can configure it that way. Uh, number seven, the, the app, the freight app, uh, offers residential detection services which can be automated or not. Um, I Probably my preference for the 20 to $40 a month flat fee is that you automate everything so that it, it detects exactly um, which shipments are going to be going to residential addresses direct to consumer. Number eight, lift gate deliveries. How do you want to do that? Do you want to automate that as well or let your clients pick? Um, you can automate it as well. It's included in that same residential detection service. Um, number nine, do you want to include any type of prep or handling fees? <clears throat> if you have a complicated crating or palletizing or prep uh, arrangement for your products as they're purchased on ship, you might want to include a flat fee for that. Uh, number 10, um, LTL weight threshold. Generally speaking, over 150 pounds, most shipments should move LTL versus ground, UPS or FedEx. Um, but you can set that weight threshold uh, however you like. And uh, furthermore, we have a, a, a new product that's kind of a caveat of this API that was built by Anitur called the uh, Freight Desk Online that actually allows you to plug in multiple parcel and ground carriers, overnight carriers, um, our brokered freight rates via Global Trans, your carrier direct tariff, so it gives you a lot more flexibility of what you can and can't do through the Shopify integrations, and it's uh, pretty exciting, automates um, all the shipping documentation that you would need, um, but definitely give me a call if you want to learn more about that product. Number 11, um, allowing your clients to arrange their own shipping, if that's an option for you. Um, it gives you the flexibility to do that. Number 12, inputting your different warehouse and dropship locations. Um, by default, it, I think it's one location, but you can add uh, 
different proprietary warehouse and dropship locations in the Shopify free shipping app. Um, number 13, in-store pickups. If you do have re retail locations, it offers flexibility for that. And you can configure it based on miles from the location that your uh, prospective customers are buying the products from. Postal code matching. And there's a few other ways that you can do that, but those are the primary ones. And honestly, I know this is a lot, but we're gonna, on the website, we're gonna build out screenshot by screenshot the actual configuration menus too. I just wanted to do it in video form. Um, number 14, local delivery settings. If that is an option for you, um, you can, it allows you the flexibility to set that up as well and offer it to your clients. Uh, number 15, uh, inputting the pallet size and individual handling unit configurations, both dimensions and weights of those palletized configurations of shipments, if they're shipping on pallets, or the individual handling units, dimensions, weights, and freight classifications, just so that everything uh, rates and books correctly, um, so that your client is paying the correct price. Number 16, uh, configuring your products, both based on dimensions and weights, of how they are boxed and shipped, and the description of the products. Um, generally, most people have this in a CSV file. You probably already have most of it. If you have all your products in Shopify for sale currently, you would just need to add the dimensions, weights, and then freight classes as they would ship. And even if most of those pro some of those products go parcel, you would still probably want to include a freight class if you have a blended group of products that are bought, some that ship freight, and some that ship parcel. Uh, individually because if they get commingled in an order they buy one big thing and a couple of little things it will default to freight so you want to make sure that you have all the, the classifications for every single product so it rates correctly um, after that I mean honestly it's the why right why would you want to automate your freight rating booking dispatching and tracking I mean if I were somebody that was selling big products, and if I had retail locations and was trying to leverage the power of e-commerce, like I think everybody should, I mean, automating this process, it can be kind of a cumbersome process, even with the um, easy to use LTL freight shipping platforms that are out there, why wouldn't you want to try and automate as much of this as possible so that you know your customers can find the product, buy the product, rate the ship, the shipping costs to their door or to their store and then pay for the whole thing and then dispatch the load and it automates tracking and tracing. Um, it should conceivably allow you to operate a bigger, more scalable business, employing less people or having less headcount to manage all those processes using automation that's already available to you. Um, by partnering with us, you obviously get access to our industry leading brokered freight rates with leading carriers. I mean, you can, and then if you use the Freight Desk Online tool, you can import your carrier direct tariff, our rates, and just let the cards fall where they may. So it's, it gives you a lot of options and it's pretty awesome. Um, and then obviously working with easy logistics coupled with Global Trans. Um, my company is pretty small, although you get access to our industry leading freight platform and rates and infrastructure. But when you call my company for customer service on these loads, you're literally only gonna to talk to a handful of people. So nobody's passing the buck um, and they're incentivized to over service your needs. So um, it should be a, a pleasant experience. And then obviously me as the owner of the company, <laughs> I do the content marketing, I'm involved, I'm CC'd on more emails than I'd like sometimes, but I am actively involved on a day-to-day -day basis. and. Uh, you know, we take a lot of pride in what we're doing and what we're growing, and we don't necessarily want to run the biggest company. So, uh, but we we like partnering with people that we believe in and want to grow with. So, if you're interested in automating your freight shipping processes through your Shopify e-commerce site, um, definitely give me a call. I'd be happy to walk you through this in more detail or answer any questions that you have. Uh, Easy Logistics is my company. We're looking to grow. We'd be honored to work with you, so give me a call and I'd be happy to help you drill into all this interesting automation for your e-commerce sales and shipping needs. Um, I can be reached at 
5341 extension 3 or jeremy at easylogisticsmanagement.com. Hope to talk to you soon.